Hey, Jim. Um, this is Matt Ricky, and uh, you. Uh, we met when I was at my brother's place uh, a week or so ago, and we were talking about uh, the ukulele and scales and playing them, and you mentioned that you had your ukulele was a baritone, and um, that the tuning of it was a D, G, B, E, which is the same tuning as the high strings on my guitar. So I figured I'd give this a shot. I've not done this before. And just to um, uh, clear up some things that we were talking about, we were, uh, know that you wanted to get into scales. And so that's what I'm going to be focusing on right here. So I had this, went to this website and it's kind of cool because it had all different kinds of possibilities. And so um, this is your ukulele and this is the nut. And down beyond this is going to be where the bridge is and the sound hole. And the tuning of it is going to be from the low string, low sounding string, D, G, B, and E. And so this represents all of the scales. Now, there's a whole lot there to see, but we break them down into different kinds of chunks. And I'll show you that here in a second. But I think part of your confusion is that you're playing scales and you're going from the maybe this string to this string to that string and like that. And you can. You can, but in terms of having it sound like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, it's got to go from uh, played from the nut to the bridge. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into um, eventually five sections because there's a pentatonic scale. Pent is five, so there's five different scales. And so the first one we're going to focus on is going to be this one. So this is called right here in between these uh, this little brackets. Uh, is the um, first position pentatonic. And it starts here, uh, because this is a G minor pentatonic, it starts on the G. And so that's that's how you're going to do first uh, position pentatonic. So you're going to start there. If this were on the seventh fret, that would be an A, and so that would be an A minor pentatonic. But the shape would remain the same. In that, your first finger is going to be hanging out here on this fret, on the fifth fret, and your fourth finger, your pinky is going to be hanging out here. So it's going to go like this. Uh, first finger, fourth, first, third, second, fourth, second, third. So what I'll do right now is I will grab my guitar and I will play those notes. And they should sound you know, the same as what you're playing on your ukulele, only yours will be a higher pitch. Maybe an octave higher, I'm not really sure. All right, here we go. G. B flat. C. D. F. G. B flat. C. Whoops. That's what it is. And you can go back. Now, that is called the first position scale. So, if you're playing in the key of G, you play a chord progression, I think you said G, C, and D, those notes, these notes here, this scale would fit with what you're playing. It would sound right. I will try to find a backing track that would be in that, that uh, you could hear, you could play on maybe on YouTube, and then uh, that might help that uh, make that clear. But uh, that is the first position. So I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of these, and then I'm going to show you something here. So notice this, how right here, uh, this is the beginning of this scale. This is the end. I'm going to get rid of this and show you that the next scale is going to be um, here. That is the, the uh, second position pentatonic scale. So whatever is the end of one, like I mentioned when I saw you at Mark's, the end of one is the beginning of the next. So I'll play one more time. I will play this and then 
uh, you'll hear that, and then I'll play them both, and you'll hear them juxtapose to one another. All right, here's the, the second position uh, scale. So I'll play the first one again, and it starts to go, well, let me think here. Mm. That's first position. And then second position is. So you can hear those notes all sound good with connected to one another because they, they do flow. They do flow from left to right, and you can jump around and, and play different kinds of things. I'll, I'll play a little bit here, kind of combining those two, just jumping around and seeing what happens. So that was a mix of the two. That was a mix of the two. So there's another three, but it's kind of tough to see everything. Kind of tough to see everything. Uh, this one big line to, to break it apart visually. So we'll do that in a line. I just left this on here, this part right here, because you're you start off music and you understand this better than what I do. But this is the uh, the treble scale, and so that's what it looks like. And then oh, this next screen here is kind of cool. Uh, so. The scale details. This is a pentatonic scale. Number of notes in pentatonic is five. So the first note in the scale is the major, is the root, I should say. Then is a flat in third, fourth, fifth, and flat in seventh. Okay. So for this particular scale that we that I just got done playing, it was G, B flat, C, D, and F. And then there, he talks about the interview intervals, and I don't know that that's really necessary right now. And this gives the uh, the, the definition of what those are, the, di the tonic or the root and the supertonic and, you know, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can hang out and take a gander at that. But here's what I want to get to. So here's, here's the deal. This is what we just got done playing. And you said that you had some, uh, you saw a tab, but didn't really know how it works. So I'm going to explain that here right now. But first, notice the chunk that I had on the previous screen, this chunk right here that's circled, notice the diagram here, notice the shape of that whole thing. That is first position. We're going to take a look at that right here. It's, this is the same thing. So it's going to be easier to see. So this is the one, this is the one I learned first. And then around this, I can expand uh, on the rest of it. So here's how it goes. Right here is your lowest string right there. That's your, that's your lowest one. And so, so that's going to be a D. This is going to be a G. And that's going to be a B. And that's going to be, whoops, that's going to be an E. <laughs> I can't write very well with my cursor. But anyway, that's what they are. And all these numbers mean here, right here is that tells you the fifth fret. So on this particular string right here, you are going to fret the fifth one. And that's going to be done with your index finger. And then this is going to be your, um, on the same string, is going to be with your pinky. So first finger, pinky. First finger, uh, ring finger. And then second finger, pinky. Second pin uh, finger, pinky. That's, that's all that means. That's all those are. Those are individual notes played on the different strings. So notice this also. I mentioned this on the previous screen where you had the whole uh, fretboard there. So here's the beginning of, here's the top end of the scale, and the bottom end is right here. You end, so you know, you start here and you go there. Now you can go backwards, but just notice this. This part right here is the beginning of this next one. Notice that seventh fret. Notice that seventh fret. So where one begins, the other one ends. And so that's why when people are playing all over the fretboard, they're sliding all over. They know these shapes is what it comes down to. So it's gonna. You'll notice also that notice the the, the notes in here. G. There's a root, and they're all in gold. You have B flat. You have a C. You have F, and you have D. 
Well, they're repeated in both of those. And so no matter whether you're playing this one here, first position, or you're playing this one, second position, you're playing the same notes, just not necessarily starting from the G. You can start from the B in a and in, 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 in playing a, a phrase that is G, C, and D and still have it sound good. You can still have it sound good. Now, you might have to make some, you might like certain notes better than others, but it still works. Okay, now notice here, I'm going to do this one more time, a couple more times here. Notice um, uh, this right here. I'm going to go from position two to the next screen. So here's position two. Note, remember that shape. Remember that shape right there. And here's the next screen. And here's position three. It's the same dang shape. And this shape here, position three, ends with this. Notice this. And this looks exactly like that. And so this has all of the different uh, uh, where you play it. And so they're played at different spots on the guitar. And so if you learn the shape, you can figure out where these things are. And then there's one more shape, and you'll notice here position four. So this one, position four is played at the, at the nut, okay? If you see zero, that means that it's played open. So the, the nuts is, is right here. And so um, then the next one, so notice it's, here's the nut. It's open string right here, because this is tuned to a D, to an F, to, and it's open G to B. Then it's fretted C to D and F to G. And then notice this, because that's an easy shape to remember. And position number five is next. And that's going to look like this. There you go. So hopefully, hopefully that makes it a little clearer about how the thing works. And I'm going to look right now here for a um, a backing track in that goes for ukulele in G, C, and D. See if I can find one. If I can, then I'll attach it to what I'm going to be sending my brother, who's going to get this stuff to you. So. Um, good luck with it. And if you have any questions, um, I will also have my brother send, uh, give you my email and then